Tech Kai left me a comment asking how to memorize vocabulary. I think I made a video on that. I'll include a link down below, but I'll do a quick recap of it. But there's a bigger picture he's getting to. So he's trying to memorize macroeconomics, okay, the definition that goes to it. And so in the comment, you can kind of see that he's making an image for every single thing. Now, here's the thing. You have to actually know if you have to memorize the vocabulary word word for word or no. So what happens is if you're trying to memorize macroeconomics, but you care about memorizing exactly like it appears, you're more focused on recalling this part and not actually understanding that part. Okay. It's totally different. Now, if you have a quiz and you have to recall the word exactly like the definition was, then you have to memorize it word for word, right? You just kind of have to. But if you don't, if you just have to see the word and understand what it means, then you really don't have to memorize this word for word. That's just a waste of time. What's more important is understanding what is this definition trying to say, okay? What does this word represent? Now, for macroeconomics, there's macro, then micro. So for me, macroeconomics, I think of macaroni, okay? Economics is money. So I might see macaroni, but in like dollar signs. Now, here's the definition, right? The part of economics concerned with large scale or general economic factors, such as interest rates and national productivity. So for me, I don't need to memorize this word for word. And I think that's where um, Takai is having the issue is because when you're trying to memorize word for word, you're so focused on that. And if you forget part of it, then you kind of forget the whole definition as a whole. And so you don't want to focus on memorizing word for word unless you have to. So what's more important is understanding this. So for me, what I get for it is it deals with large scale, right? So like interest rates, national productivity, things like that. So for me, I might see, um, I don't know, I might see a big scale and it has a whole bunch of macaroni dollar signs, right? And on the other side, it has a whole bunch of money. So when I see that in like a macroeconomics, oh, oh yeah, there's this big giant scale and one side has the, these macaronis that are in the shapes of dollar signs and it has money on the other side. That's right. Macroeconomics d deals with large scale. Now, if I wanted to, I could add these specifics in like interest rates and national productivity by changing those into images and just adding it to the um, image, the story I already created, right? So if I wanted national productivity, um, I don't really have to memorize national because it's a large scale, right? The general economy, economics. So for me, that's not necessary. So productivity, I might see robots trying to eat the money or steal it when, on the scale. So when I see, oh yeah, the robots, robots for me always reminds me of productivity. So boom, now I have that. So if I needed an, an example of macroeconomics, I'd be like national productivity. And so... That is what I got from um, Takai's comment is that he was trying to you know, memorize this word for word and he's missing out on the, you know, the more important part, understanding the meaning of it. And as you could tell, all I really had an image for, for was this for just macroeconomics and money, right? Um, and if I wanted to know more about it, I had an image for this. So at the end of the day, you know, if you have the macaroni, the cash, the large scale, I kind of had just three images and that's it. But it seemed like Takai was creating images for all of this. And of course, when you do that, it gets so much harder. I know because of memorizing poems, <laughs> the worst thing ever was because, <laughs> because you want to know every single thing exactly as it appears. If you didn't, you lose the line for the USA competition. And so that's why you should be more concerned with the meaning behind vocabulary words and not just recalling it exactly as it appears. Because just because you can recall the exact definition doesn't mean you understand what this even is even talking about, right? So you got to kind of make that distinction. And I think that's a really important thing to know about vocabulary words. That, yeah, you could recall the vocabulary word. Great if you need it for a test, but to really understand to understand it and to be able to talk about it, you need to know the meaning behind it. And that's what you should be focusing on. So hopefully this answers your comment, Takai. Um, I know you kind of were having issues just like kind of memorizing it and then you kind of forgot it. Um, not creating all these images should help you with that, but also reviewing it. Uh, I'm not sure how you're reviewing information, but making sure you're reviewing your vocabulary words often because if you have like 20 vocabulary words you're trying to learn you know, one day, you want to make sure you're getting all those reviews in 
before you start learning more vocabulary words because then it just stacks on. And of course, when you're learning a new subject, you have you're bombarded with all these vocabulary words, right? You know, in the first chapter, like, oh, you'll be learning X, Y, and Z words. You know, in the next chapter, you're gonna learn these words, and so it gets to be a lot. And so you want to make sure that you're, you know, kind of getting these words down initially, making sure that you have that you have them. Then start adding some extra words in. Don't try to do a whole set of it. But hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this helps anyone who's dealing with some vocabulary words. Um, so yeah. So hopefully you enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time.